y'all i'm coming to you today with the blueberry bliss line from curls i wanted to just see if my og products still work so i washed my hair with the hair wash i went in with the deep conditioner the reparative mask thick in consistency gives you so much slip when you're running it through your hair and it smells like absolute heaven then I went in with the reparative leave-in conditioner. This whole system is for shedding and breakage and stuff like that. So that's why I keep repeating the reparative. And next I went in with the twist and shout cream, which is my absolute favorite cream, you guys. This one is new to me, the jelly. I never used that. So they were having a sale. I caught the sale and I wanted to see how this works. It's blue in the bottle, but when I take it out and put it on my finger, it looks clear. So, it has like a light hold. Um, this is what my hair is looking like with the leave-in in. And I'm going to go ahead and flat twist and let you guys see how I do that. So, for my first twist in the front, I like to use um, edge control for that. Just because it gives you this neat look in the front. Um, it smells like blueberries just like the rest of the line. That is my favorite edge control. Hands down, I don't use anything else and you're about to see why this is my little edge brush it has a comb on the bottom brush on the top my daughter bought that for me from amazon y'all she's so sweet and um i like to go ahead and slick my edges down before i start to twist so this is how i'm doing that then i'm taking some of the twist and shout cream i like to grab a little of that rubbing it through my hair and then i'm gonna follow up with the jelly so like i said y'all the jelly is lightweight so i found myself putting a little bit more once i got towards the back but it does provide some hold so i'm pleased with it and this is what my hair was looking like after i used it I wish I could explain to y'all how I twist, but what I do is I grab hair as I'm going down. But as you can see, I do this twisting motion as I'm going down. And you see a lot of people just grab hair and then, you know, bring their hands in. I twist mine under when I'm grabbing the next piece, if that makes any sense. Um, yeah, I'm so sorry. I can't explain it further, but just watch. <laughs> Now I'm just going to show it one more time for the people who have questions in my comments about how I do it. I comb it through, put some cream. I go ahead and make sure I rub that in real good before I apply the gel because you want to make sure your hair is penetrating it. And then I go in with the jelly. I do the same thing, smooth it in, break it in, and then I start to twist. I can stay there my heart. Again, if you can see the motion of my hands, I am grabbing more hair as I go down the length of my hair, but I'm twisting it under with every um, strand I grab. So I made a mistake and grabbed some from the first row, but because I like to bobby pin the front anyway, just to stretch it a little bit, it was all good. You'll see how I worked that out. Your hands, your hair, every part of you. I can cut off any of so because the way my hair is shaped, the back is longer than the front. So I'd like to give it just a little stretch in the front so that everything can be evened out. So that's why I put my little bobby pins there. And this is what my hair is looking like once I went ahead and flat twisted everything up. As you can see, I got my bobby pins in on both sides. I like for it to feel tight. I know some people don't like that on their edges, but for me, that's how I know I'm getting that stretch. It works for me, so yeah it doesn't have to be perfect and then i go ahead and put my scarf on because i like 
no frizz first of all and i like for it to um not move around while i'm sleeping so that's why i use the scarf instead of my bonnet So it's the next morning i know you're wondering what happened to your scarf but this is actually um the middle of the day uh, so i took a nap that's why i got my bonnet on and this time i didn't just leave the oil on my hands i went ahead and put it on my hair and i'm starting to unravel i like to be super duper careful when i'm unraveling because of the technique i use because when you see most people doing their flat twist they run their nail across their hair to grab for another piece and because i'm just twisting under and not really separating it you know when i'm twisting it could cause a lot of frizz so if you use this technique just be really patient and unravel it slowly and if you feel your hair start to snag that's just a curl that's tangled up so just take your time and feel for it and then pull it apart and it'll still look good And this is what my hair looks like after I unravel and take out all the twists. And I will show you the back of it. I don't think I ever showed you guys how I pick and fluff my hair out. So I'm going to do that right now just in case you are wondering how I shape my flat twists. So I heard another YouTuber say that you know if you don't shape your face right it doesn't look good it looks like trash but let me tell y'all something you shape your hair the way you like it so if you like it like that that's how you do it as you can see i'm just pulling the pick in the direction in which i want my fro to lay so that's what you do if it looks good to you it's perfect But just for people who like more definition than um, frizz and volume, um, don't run the pick all the way down the length of your hair. See, a lot of people like to pick their hair out and cause so much volume that that looks like trash. You know, so it's up to you and what you like. I'm sorry, y'all got a little in my feelings because I don't like when people tell you what to do. We're all just doing what's best for our hair. So you do what's best for you. I like definition, so I'm never going to show you me pulling the pick all the way down the length of my hair, and then I have to do my hair again in two, three days. That's not my thing. I like for it to last for a week. I'm going back in with my old faithful. I love this um, edge control, y'all. I love it. Leave it in the comments. If you ever use this um, edge control, let me know in the comments. This is my favorite. I don't think I use any. I have a bunch, you know, in my stash of edge controls and if i run out of this i'll probably slap some of that on but this is my favorite like it lasts all day and even if sometimes i catch it and put my scarf on it'll last the next day too shout out to curls okay so yeah i just go ahead and slick it down and then it's again no right or wrong way to do your edges i just you know switch it up sometimes sometimes i just you know slick it back and sometimes i do this little little curve if you will <laughs> in my hair and i do it on both sides just because the wind blows now it's cold outside and you know you want your stuff to be intact when the wind is blowing so i'll show you how i do both sides You don't have to get too crazy with this side that's laying over your face. But like I said, just in case the wind blows, just in case you see your bow and you want to be cute, you go ahead and just get it intact, girl. That's it.
And look at me. I'm done, y'all. And I'm feeling myself. I feel like I look cute. I got volume. I got bounce, shine, and moisture. And my edges are slayed. Hey, baby. I'm going to go ahead and crown. I'm going to treat you as such. Love you guys. Have a good one.